Hey guys, welcome to a, a brand new episode, second one on the channel, and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a few tips and tricks that I have um, found over my time of being a builder uh, that were very, very useful, very helpful, and really cool. So first off, I'm going to uh, be showing you a little lake or pond area uh, where you can uh, add some detail to your, your ponds uh, that you're building in your worlds. And um, first off, I want to show you guys this cattail or these cattails. Um, the cattails are just uh, glass panes uh, with seed pickles and they add a ton to your build. It's abso absolutely crazy. Um, next, I want to show you guys these lily pads. So lily pads are already things in Minecraft. You're like, what is he talking about? Let's just place a lily pad. But underneath, um, in real life, lily pads oftentimes have um, a stem growing up uh, to the bottom of the lily pad. So adding a little bit of kelp underneath adds to that element of being more realistic um, for your build. And it does a lot, um, or maybe not a lot. It just It just adds to the... The depth to your build, so realism. And next, I want to show you guys these little indents right here, which you can obviously see. It's just it adds some more realistic elements to your build because ponds and lakes they have little, little. They're not perfectly circular, and they're they're always gonna have little little out, outcrops of water um, coming out, making it making it more natural, making it more messy. Um, I also have buttons and pressure plates scattered everywhere to simulate um, little uh, sand pebbles or uh, big sand pebbles uh, just to add more depth also. I have this little tree. Um, it's just a couple of signs with some uh, some jungle leaves on it. I'll show you how to make them over there. Um, and then also to add more depth, I usually put a few um, rocks around the ponds uh, to create uh, that feeling that the water has been there a while and it isn't just a flat area. Because um, one thing you want to you wanna avoid in Minecraft whenever you're building is flat areas. You always want that, that raised area or you want it to be lowered a little bit and it just, it just does a ton. Also on the sign of legs or the thought of legs, I made a little um, beach umbrella. Uh, which really isn't much of a lake thing, but it's a uh, it's a, a pool thing or a, or not beach a pond. It is a beach thing. It's not a pond thing. It's a it's a pool thing. So I decided to add that because water. It's water related. Um, you can have these little beach chairs, which I recommend that you put. <laughs> I recommend you put signs on. Um, to add that little armrest for the people sitting in the beach chairs. And then also going along with beach chairs, you got towels. Um, there's a little, little towel hanger right here. Um, oftentimes if you want an element of um, a 3D element, you put two um, to make it so it looks like it's more wrapping around. And even you could go even farther to add a carpet on top, which then adds just a ton more. And then you can also have just a single towel uh, laying against the wall. Um, next, next took me a while to make this, but it's kind of like an apple orchard thing. Um, oh, there's a lot here. Uh, I also wanted to simulate a few wall ideas that you could use in your builds. Um, the first wall idea was this rugged um, wall made of half slabs of cobblestone. Um, these half slabs are just pretty much placed randomly to make it look like it's a it's a broken down wall um, going a, along a, a nice um, medieval path. Uh, and then um, walking into here and going to the left, there's another wall that I did. It was just a quick little example wall. Um, this is could be uh, this is just anvils on carpet uh, alternating with a cobblestone wall. This could be some sort of castle wall or like liner for your your awesome um, stone brick builds or like stone andesite builds. But then getting into the juicy stuff of this is um, this is the nature, the nature part of it. Uh, 
there's these little barrels right here, which simulate apple barrels. Um, fire coral blocks look like apples so much. And I was also experimenting, and I saw that tube coral looks like blueberries. So if you ever wanted to make a, a blueberry bin, you just got to do this. And also to do this, you have to have water underneath the, the trap doors um, in order to keep the color of it. Because if you don't, it will turn gray, and uh, it will have a bad effect on your build. Um, I also scatter a few barrels around to add a little more uh, height difference difference um, to this and then also height difference related I have this little mound of dirt um, surrounded by some spruce half slabs and there's a little, little flower field that I decided to add because um, it just adds more color more pop more than just a red um, and then I also want to thank Caitlin the dragon for finding me the apple head uh, there's no way I would have been able to do that but uh, these trees these are apple trees obviously um, they uh, simulate, uh, okay, here we go. So trees are one of the hardest things, in my opinion, to build in Minecraft because they're organics, and organics are just extremely hard. Um, building these will have to be a separate episode, um, but ultimately it's just you got to find what is realistic, and like if it were to actually be in the real, real world, then you got to try to put it in Minecraft and find the shape. Like, you got to figure out that the trunk is a little thicker, and then it gets skinnier up, and then, like, there might be different branches, like, coming out of the tree, like, right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's multiple branches coming out um, where it's a split. And then another wall idea... Ooh, got off a little off topic. Another wall idea is uh, this. So, I'm not really a fan of this wall. <laughs> But I think it looks it w it could look really good in different um, scenarios, uh, like a little little town, medieval town, uh, deep in the the mountains. I think that would look really cool. And this right here, moving on to lamps, I made two different lamp examples. Um, it's just a couple wall on top of some stairs or not stairs fences, and then a stair on top of the fence, and then a slab and a hopper and a lantern. Um, this is my go-to lamp design. I love it so much. If you ever see any of my builds, whenever I do lamps, it's always that design or something similar to it. Uh, this right here is also another lamp design I like whenever I try to do double lamps because it's kind of hard to do double lamps with that type of design. Um, and these chains, oh, it's the best, best addition to Minecraft ever. Okay, next um, is like house modern interior uh i'm not much of a modern um interior person when it comes to minecraft i like i like nature i like medieval stuff but i try my best and um yeah this is, this is what i came up with so first off there's this little little oven place right here um they have detector rails on top of furnaces and underneath the furnaces are campfires that create that smoky effect so it looks like you're actually cooking something or you're heating up your your oven and over here is your fridge um, <laughs> so if you want an actually working fridge which is pretty cool to have in Minecraft you can show off to your friends you just put a dispenser there with a button and then when you put something in the the fridge you can click it and then it shoots out the thing you put in there so yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then over here we got a little island with a pressure plate that simulates kind of like a plate type design and then a pot, which is a cup. We have the sink right here with the, the faucet, which was, um, yeah, which is just the lever that's pointing towards the, to the cauldron. And then right here is my table design of the century. I love it so much. I use it for everything. I use it for prisons. I use it for houses. I use it for just everything. Um, it's just, uh, a piston on top of a redstone block or you could use redstone torches if redstone blocks are too expensive for you um, but but just around here there's a few chair design or not future there's this chair design that I, I like also it's my go-to um, and over here is my couch the couch design that I that I am um, this is actually the first couch I've ever made that was not supposed to be there but yeah this is actually the first couch I've ever made 
is I was pretty impressed. I like it. Um, there's not much about it. It's just a couple of pieces of wool with a carpet and it's like stone slabs. But um, yeah, and then this TV. So these uh, these jukeboxes right here. These represent um, kind of speakers, speaker type things. Um, and then this the stairs obviously represent the stand, and the black concrete represents the actual screen. And then I have this spruce trap door right here to kind of outline the TV because if you take it away, in my opinion, it looks kind of kind of odd, kind of bland. Um, and then right here is a lamp. You know, it's a it's just two end rods with a skeleton skull. Um, you can you can also mix it up, put a beacon on top, which makes a bigger lamp. Um, Oftentimes, whenever you put lamps, though, you don't put them put them against the wall, especially when you have the beacon, because it just it um, it just rubs up against the wall. And then, the last thing I want to show you guys um, in this little area is these two. Oh no, never mind. I have windows also. I need to show you is um, bushes. Uh, these little home bushes. So they both have pot and then flower, or not flower leaves. And inside the pot is the only change. So this one has a dead bush, which is used across a ton of builders I've seen watching videos on them. But one that I really rarely see are the cactus. And I love the cactus look so much because it kind of matches the green color. And it makes it look like it's just sprouting. It's like a new sapling in a way, rather than um, this, which makes it look like it's, uh, it's dying. I don't really like the dead bush look. So here... Or a couple window designs that I uh, decided to uh, put in here because it's a house and how can you not have windows in a house? Um, first off, I always try to find a stair that is matches the best uh, with the color I picked for my wall um, because stairs add so much to windows, it adds more depth than um, and depth in builds is pretty much everything. Um, also, I have this little little trap door right here with a, a flower pot on it, simulating. Um, what are they called? <laughs> there, there's just a, a seal, like a little window seal for the outside of your house. And then right here is an open window that I did with a, a two by two area. And if you want to close it, all you'd have to do is put the glass there, and then it's closed. So yeah. And then going off the table design, I thought. Maybe I could show you guys a few more. And this right here, this is a another table design. I don't like it as much because uh, whenever you can't put things on it, or else, <laughs> or else it will uh, it will move up, and it's it's not really ideal for um, for actual scenes in Minecraft. But it does look really good, and I I prefer the look over that. But this is just more usable in my opinion. Um, I also have a few chair designs that I put around here. Um, first off, we have some item frames on a slab and then a door um, as the back. Uh, this one kind of helps uh, put some space between the armrest, which actually is a thing in, in real life. Uh, over here, you got this, this chair. It has an item frame, stair, and then instead of a door, it has a trap door on top. And the way you'd place this is you'd come over here, you place it like that. And then right here, you have um, just the same thing, but instead of item frames, you have trap doors. And then right here, you have a slab with three uh, birch trap doors around, which simulates kind of like a, a cute little stool for like, I don't know, a kid or something like that. And then a bar, this bar area right here. I, I really wanted to just show this off because it's just so simple. Yeah, it can add so much to your build. It's just a little stool. It's a little bar area. Um, these right here are pretty awesome because you can um, do so much with. Oops. Because okay. you can. I'll show you later. <laughs> but you can uh, make some pretty cool things with barrels and uh, everything like that. But that's just a little bar. Bar example. I have a little chest where you can store your. Uh, your bottles of beer or wine or water if you're a kid because you can't drink if you're um, underage. That's just bad, right? Um, and the next next thing I want to show you is one of the last things is walls, castle walls, medieval walls. I think a lot of people 
love these type of things and they try so hard to make them. It's just they can't. And I, I understand why because it's so hard. But it's such a simple thing to build. But ultimately, it comes to depth. If you have more layers um, in your castle wall, then it will look a ton better. Uh, these these stairs add an extra half layer of depth, and um, and then already it's one, two, three, four. It's four or three blocks, three and a half blocks with the stairs back, which just it's just as you can tell adds a lot. Um, there's a few a few design tips that I wanted to show you. These towers have campfires underneath to um, kind of give a, a torch effect, like it's a torch. Um, so it actually adds quite a bit if you're trying to do like a, a cool tower or a, a medieval village type thing. Um, right here is the, uh, the uh, anvil thing, anvil wall, but instead of the cobblestone, I just put... I just put uh, Cobblestone walls, I just put anvils, which, in my opinion, anvils and castle walls work perfectly together. I absolutely love them. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys some gate ideas, uh, because gates, in my opinion, are super important to castles. And uh, first off, there's just the normal spruce fence gate design, which is... Pretty cool. I think the simplicity of it makes it look extremely good. This is one of my favorite designs. Next, you have kind of a, a spiky design. So you could do this. You could just take away the trap doors, and you could just have some spikes coming down. Somebody broke my sign. Or you could um, go over here, and you could add some iron uh, iron bars to make it more look scarier or more medieval in a way, like dungeon feel. And then lastly, I wanted to show you this gate, which is um, kind of a... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's a, one of those things that like goes over rivers in castles. I can't think of the word at the moment. But uh, And while I was making this, I was like, wait, I have a few ideas for river. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is my one of my favorite uh, river designs. It's just a ton of glass alternated between light blue, ga blue glass, scion glass, and then uh, blue stained glass. So you just do uh, whichever percentage you want of any of this glass. And then you have the occasional green stained glass. Um, and then you look at it and it, it looks really good. It actually looks like kind of a, a lake or a river type thing. And yeah, that's that's about that's about all I have for today. I'm sorry if I if I was stumbling during the video. Uh, this is obviously I'm gonna be doing that during my videos, and I I hope I'll start getting better because holy cow, I kind of wanna wanna get this channel going. I wanna help a few people with their their build ideas, build designs, and I just wanna wanna make people enjoy my video. Well, not make them enjoy my videos. It's impossible to make somebody enjoy something, but to have them enjoy my videos. And uh, I really hope you did enjoy my video. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys uh, have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh,